You're listening to the Bearded Theologians podcast, hosted by Zach Bechtold and Matt Franks. If you'd like to learn more about the Bearded Theologians, you can go online at beardedtheologians.com, where we have past podcasts, blogs, and a couple of items for sale. So check us out, beardedtheologians.com. Thank you for listening, and enjoy this week's show. You're listening to the Bearded Theologians podcast, hosted by Matt Franks and Zach Bechtold. So uh, this week on the podcast, we're going to talk a little bit about kind of rhythm and renewal. Um, both Zach and I are going through uh, pastoral changes, and uh, we have definitely in the last month found ourselves out of a rhythm. Uh, not only just not podcasting for the last right. month, which I think is the longest drought that we've ever had. 100%, yeah. um, but also like our normal like pastoral work home mm-hmm. rhythms have been thrown out of shape and uh zach as you as you think about that what are some things that that you know stir up within you sure you know we, we've talked a lot about sabbath and rest on this podcast but i don't know that we've ever and, and i really think we've probably talked about rhythm uh ad nauseum but i, I don't know that we've actually done it in a time that we're practicing it <laughs> we're really good about <laughs> telling you all hey go get some rest uh take a break and uh, it's really do as I say, not as I do on this podcast. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, you and I both have spent, um, you know, the last six weeks, last month in, in transition or, or longer really, but, uh, but in transition and out of rhythm and kind of out of sorts. Uh, I'm technically on renewal leave as I move from Wyoming to uh, Montana and uh, you're getting back into rhythm. Uh, slow, slowly but surely, uh, or head first, or however it's going. But, um, you know, the last couple of weeks of, of not, I'm not in charge of anything right now. Um, so I'm truly on renewal leave. It's been clouded by uh, the stress and um, work of, of packing and moving. But it's been good. It's been nice. Uh, and it's been nice to do that transitional work uh, and not have to think about, oh, crap, Sunday's coming, you know. But I'm, I find myself eager in longing for rhythm uh, in any form that I can get in. Like you said, we haven't podcasted in a month. Yeah. Uh, and that's the first time we haven't done that in... Ever. Ever, really. Uh, maybe our first year as we were getting going, we had weird rhythms. But, I mean, in six years, you know, we're, we're kind of in season 6.2 right now. <laughs> <laughs> because it's been so long and it feels weird but I, I found myself yesterday when we were talking about what we were going to do today when I got here of oh hey this can be fun again you know not that it was never not fun but oh I missed that and and it's su- been such a part of my rhythm uh, really our rhythm for the last six years that uh, I'm finding those little bits not preaching I, I'm I'm getting ready, you know, I want to preach again. You know, I'm ready to sit down and write sermon series. I'm ready. Um, I'm not ready to go sit in the office, <laughs> but I'm ready to do the fun things, preach, do podcasts, be with people, uh, where a month ago I was really tired. Uh, I wasn't looking forward to preaching. Um, you know, being with people was almost a chore. Just I was tired, I was burned out, and even just two weeks off from that uh, to focus on moving uh, has been really good. Yeah, and I know for like me, you know, I um, I took some time off um, to have hip sur- hip replacement surgery, and then I had a whole other week of not preaching. We were here, but you know, we weren't here. We actually mm-hmm. came to yeah. you yeah. and uh, hung out with you um, on that Sunday, and uh, you know, I I've not felt oriented. Mm-hmm. Uh, in a while and even still feeling a little bit discombobulated yeah. um, even though my office is almost done um, it's done by my standards there are others who will disagree but you know it's my <laughs> office it's my room i'll do what i want with it <laughs> that's right um the podcast mic is up and ready to go so like that's all i need who, right who cares yeah. um and and so you know i think for me as i as i've really thought about this time off and you know what was needed for me and you know one you know make you know taking care of my family and making sure that we you know, one got the moving truck here and, right. and some of the stresses that came about that. And, and then it just seemed like more stress on top of more stress with the move, you know, having to weather that storm, man, I couldn't imagine what it would have been like to actually just been in charge of a, of a congregation and, and then right. like everything else that goes with that. Right. Um, and even in the midst of this transition, it's still, you know, it's a little different pace here. And so, mm-hmm. 
getting to realize that like, hey, it's July and we can take some deep breaths and before we really ramp up and, um, you know, that's, it's been nice to have that kind of space. Mm -hmm. um, and, and as I think about like, you know, yeah, I think the biggest thing I've missed is definitely the podcasting. Uh, mm -hmm. One, it was, it, we've been clear about this. This is a spiritual practice for us that right. whole, that one, it, we talk about things and we look at things that maybe we wouldn't look at at a church on Sunday or, mm -hmm. you know, or, you know, for a study or whatever. And so it allows us to have a space to process that where we probably wouldn't get that otherwise. And so right. it, it opens us up for some things that, you know, we definitely uh, find healthy. Right. And right. Uh, not doing that has been, a, I mean, yeah. you know, it's weird. Like there have been times where I'm like, right, we're going to try to record this week. <laughs> and it just didn't work because one right. of us was having moving problems. Right. <laughs> um, and, and so, you know, um, and I think that that's the important thing is to find your rhythm and mm -hmm. then like, yeah, it doesn't hurt to take a break from it. Right. But I also think that like, having that will allows you to have some focus and yeah. and to know when you're tired like all right so maybe i need to pull back on that or maybe i need to not do that anymore right. or... well and and you know not to mention our 15 minutes of podcasting is usually accompanied by an hour before <laughs> and 30 minutes <laughs> after of just being present right and, 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 and yeah. whatever the conversations may be yeah and, and it's not even if we have jerry hershops on we're on for like four hours <laughs> um, right but, it, but it's just, you know, it's definitely, I missed, I, I missed the whole time, but I missed that time of just, hey, we're going to start Zoom and just do whatever uh, it does to take us an hour to do a 15 minute podcast because we're talking about anything else. Yeah. <laughs> like what, 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 are, what are we going to talk about? Right, and then like, right. we may settle on something and right. then 45 minutes later right. we come back to it and right. say, no, let's not talk and, about that. And we've <laughs> talked about baseball and dinner and family and all of the things and, and yeah, um, and you know, bringing it back to the to to what we do here on the podcast, it I've been thinking. I mean, the easy place to go is Jesus goes into the wilderness and and rests and retreats and does the thing. Uh, but I've been thinking a lot about that here lately and why Jesus went. Um, we don't see him go just because he wants to go and be away. From, he's tired. He's frustrated. Something big has just happened. He needs he needs a moment, right? And he it's almost at times when his rhythm has been disrupted uh, that he goes to reset and come back in and then he goes and does something big again, you know? Uh, and we're, I don't know, we're bad about that as people. We just go from one big thing to the next and hope, hope we don't run out of gas. Well, it kind of reminds me of when I was a youth director, very first church gig I had, and I remember sitting in staff for like almost a year, the pastor mm -hmm. would say this, it's gonna slow down, it's gonna slow down, right. it's gonna slow down. Well, in that year that it was going to slow down, we built a second story on the gymnasium mm -hmm. so that we could have a youth room. Right. We started construction on a whole area to renovate offices and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. We built a started building a new sanctuary, mm -hmm. and we were growing in a, in a place uh, and being in a space that where like that wasn't really the permissible right. because we'd hit some certain benchmarks yep. that you know. And uh, I remember sitting in one staff meeting one time, and he, he said it, and I, and I just I said, no, it's not going to slow. It never slows down. Mm -hmm. And that's the, that's, the, uh, that's the beast that we have. And, mm -hmm. and I think sometimes recognizing that and yep. saying that's what we have, but that doesn't mean we have to live into it all right. the time. Right. And that taking time off and, and taking renewal time and, and just taking time off, taking your vacation time, mm -hmm. um, I would be... I would be intrigued to find out what the legit, like the legitimate statistics would be on if clergy were honest. They're not good. <laughs> uh, if clergy were honest about taking, are right. they taking their vacation time that they're right. allotted by the conference mm -hmm. and the book of discipline? Mm -hmm. And then not, let's not even talk about renewal leave. I was going to say, yeah. Let's, like, let's not let's talk not, about that other stuff. That's let's that not great. mention renewal or, or uh, compensation yeah, or sabbatical. Like, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. Let's, I mean, we joke about that, but like, that's the truth. It is. But in like that time off, that vacation time off, or, um, you know, hopefully if you're, if you have lay staff, you're, you're providing yeah. space for them right. to have that time off and, and. Well, even, even giving permission, I, I like to give my church members uh, who don't work for the church permission of, I'm not going to be here 52 Sundays a year, uh, or really 55, 56 services a year, right? Uh, there's going to be Sundays or, or days I'm, I'm not here because 
I need to be gone too. I don't expect my staff, I wouldn't expect church members to have perfect attendance, right? Yeah. Uh, and that's okay. Uh, I mean, often, often I get the apology uh, when people find out I'm a pastor, uh, whether it's in a new community or in a community I don't even live in, oh, sorry, pastor, I, I haven't been to church. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. One, you don't come to my church, but you're where you need to be, <laughs> yeah. right? Um, and, and don't feel guilty about that. We're where we need to be, and, and sometimes having well, that space is, is so good. Well, and can we be honest that there's more of the church than just Sunday? Correct, right. Yeah, and especially in a day and age today, right, where we like, can watch it later in the afternoon or, or Wednesdays in our pajamas with a cup of coffee. Or sitting in the deer stand watching it in live. 100%, you know? right? Yeah. Um, yeah. And and I think that... There's more more than one way to be present. And, and I think that... But there's more than one way to do church, too. Oh, absolutely. I think we get so caught up in the worship aspect of things, right. which is important, don't get me wrong. Yeah. But there's also other things, study, fellowship, right. service you know, witness, like right. th those things in the baptismal vows, like, <laughs> like I, I find those very important. Right. And, and I think far too often we emphasize in regards to mm -hmm. the church connection to one atmosphere right. in one particular time. In one way on, of doing it, yeah. And, and, and the reality is, is that the church has always offered multiple ways yeah. for you to live out yeah. your faith. But and, I, I don't think we get there as leaders if we don't take our time. Right. If we don't take renewal, if we don't rest, if we don't find that rhythm then we're not open to seeing the bigger rhythms around yeah. us, right? But also recognizing, too, that you don't take vacation time during Lent. And, uh, <laughs> um, uh, you know, well, it's um, Advent. We'll see you guys yeah, later. Like, hey, it's Advent. Um, I'm going to take four Sundays off for Advent. I'll be back for Christmas what you, Eve. What do you mean you're not going to be here Easter? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, I, I think being aware of what the sure. community calendar is, is is vital. Right. But not being consumed by the community calendar. Right. I think that that's right. something else that we have you have to pay attention to. Mm -hmm. and, uh, mm -hmm. You know, uh, as we kind of bring this to a close, because we could ramble on about oh. this for days, and since we're we like, haven't close, done it like, <laughs> well, no, we haven't done it, but like, oh, very, sure, like, like we're here together. Well, that's probably like, worth mentioning. Like, <laughs> like, when was the last time we actually did one together? It's been a bit. It, it's probably Houston. Uh, Houston or Denver, last time we were oh, in Denver. That's right. Yeah, we, well, yeah. in February before COVID. Yeah. yeah, it would have been February before COVID, so, so yeah. two and a half um, years. So yeah, we don't get to do this all that often. We don't. Um, maybe we can do this a little bit more. Probably. Uh, I mean, <laughs> we're technically two hours closer. Uh, I won't get into the... <laughs> we're still... <laughs> we'll still, talk about... Still processing uh, that. Um, let's talk about healing next week. <laughs> <laughs> healing and forgiveness. Um, <laughs> But what are some ways that you uh, take some time off and, and take some time for renewal, uh, whether you're clergy or lay? You know, feel free to share that with us uh, on our website or through Facebook or Instagram, however you uh, take, uh, you know, however you want to connect with us. And so uh, we want to encourage you to go to our website at beardedtheologians.com. We've got some great content up there. And I know it's been a month, but there's still some great content up there. Yeah. Um, encourage it you. Yeah, it hasn't changed. <laughs> uh, we haven't deleted any of it, uh, even those first like six months <laughs> even of it. The ones we should. <laughs> um, uh, so for the bearded theologians, I'm Matt Franks. Uh, I'm Zach Bechtold. Thanks for checking us out. And I really hope this recorded. I do too. <laughs> <laughs> I, need... I want you to subscribe and like this video and put that thumb, push that thumbs up. Thank you for listening to the Bearded Theologians podcast. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share on all social media outlets. You can check out old episodes and more information at beardedtheologians.com. Thanks for checking us out.